time you use a romantic love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever you guys happen to watch this time into love reading and it resonates with your particular situation in there, man. You guys, I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there and I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Love messages for Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus placements. Straight out the gate, King of Cups, the World Card, the Seven of Swords, the Emperor, the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups, Ten of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the King of Swords. Overall energy of the Magician. Okay, so yeah. You get a new start after a terrible ending, okay? Um, in love. I feel like for some of y'all, I'm not gonna lie, it seems like you lost someone who was close to you. If this is the case, my condolences, especially a former romantic partner. And I feel like after this person passed away, something came out about them with the Seven of Swords. Something that you didn't expect. For some of y'all, they were hiding. They, they were in another... Oh, dear. They were in another relationship with the Three of Cups at the center of the reading. For some of y'all, this isn't you. This is your father uh, who was hiding that maybe he... <coughs> That he had another family is not funny. It's like you would have never saw this coming. For some of y'all, it really warped how you saw relationships. Um, it affected your relationship with your significant other very much so. It caused a lot of burdens like you couldn't. Or it affected how you saw relationships and how they should work. Even if you were in a relationship at that particular time when this happened, when those secrets were revealed, it caused a lot of strain with you and your significant other. Because it's like, whoever that masculine figure was that disappointed you uh, and had secrets revealed after their death, it caused a lot of strain, turmoil, and chaos for you and your family. And it's like, you don't want to go through that. Um... For some of y'all, it might have been revealed that there were some children, or like I said, another family, or whatever the case may be. But whatever the case may be, I feel like you, whether you be divine masculine or divine feminine, are in this king or queen of swords energy now. It's like you kind of sort of don't trust people. Whoever this page of cups is, that's a child, okay? So somebody might have had a... Mm. let me put it to you this way what I'm feeling is that one of y'all whoever is watching y'all had a um found out that you had a brother or a sister that you didn't know nothing, something about and I feel like y'all found out after your father or whoever died and this is causing chaos for you right now or it has in the past and it has really caused you to become guarded and that's what I'm feeling guarded in your relationships not able to trust like you normally would trust someone because of this betrayal okay hmm it's like you didn't know this but I think that your mother or whoever they knew but they didn't 
tell y'all, you or the other children. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm. If this is your story, Chunky, release it and let it go, baby. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. Whatever the case may be, it's like you, you feel like you can't trust like you used to. Somebody had a child or someone and it's affecting you. If it wasn't you, somebody, your significant other who passed away or your, it was your father and you found out that this person had a, uh, either a whole other family or, or um, they had another child. Oh, Lord. It's like respect. You want respect in a relationship. You don't want lies, manipulation, all that. You value everyone's re unique perspective on the path to love. That's what you want. It's like, even though this situation has come about or is coming about for some of y'all, it hasn't taken place yet, you realize that the whoever is being revealed is the, I don't even like to say a certain outside child or this new brother or sister you have, you know that they're not to blame for this. It's like, for some of y'all, y'all have lost respect for certain people. Okay? But it's like, you're like dumbfounded or flabbergasted that this is taking place. Like, what is this? Like, for school, babe. It's, a, it's like, you had a lot of respect for whoever this father figure was, and it was a father figure. And it's like, now that you found out this secret or this stuff, these lies have been revealed. It's like, what is this? It's like you want a relationship not like what your parents had or whoever these this couple is. You want something built on neutral respect, two of cups energy, not lies and burdens, okay? I'm just saying. Okay. Well, that was an interesting one, okay? So, <laughs> that's all I have for y'all. I hope it resonated with you. <laughs> um, but if it didn't, check your other placements. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye, guys.